Hello friends, so today we gonna discuss this problem from the latest Code Forces Round 642 Division 3 Problem C Board Moves. So you are given a board of size n cross n where n is odd and it means that it's not, not divisible by 2. Initially each cell of the board contains one figure. Okay. In one move you can select exactly one figure represented in some cell and move it to one of the cells sharing a side or a corner with the current cell. So it means if there are like n equal to 3 and there are this, there is a figure here or like there is a figure here, you can move this figure to all these 8 places. I hope you understand because all these cells share a corner or an edge with this cell. So now your objective is your task is to find the minimum number of moves required to get all the figures in one cell. And yeah, you have to answer T independent questions. So if you have figures in each cell, it's just better to bring everything down to the center. So as you can see, this is at the center only. Bringing all the elements down here will be required one. Move. So total will be 8. So for, for input of 3, there is no input of 3. The answer is 8. If there are 5, okay, and you have to bring down everything here. As you can see, this cell is like this grid is same as this. So, all those 8 cells will come, figures will come to the center in 8 moves, plus all those outer boundary figures will come to the center in 2 moves. As you can see, if this wants to come to this position, it can move diagonally here. here. If this wants to come, it can first move here and then diagonally. It can move diagonally. So, all those boundary so as you can see for now our first objective is to find out how many elements are there on the boundary for this case if we take the whole square it is n square and you want to find out minus this block which is actually this is a square of 3 and this is a square of 1 so if you subtract n square minus n minus 1 square and same as you can see if this is 5 and this is 3 so it means we are subtracting n square minus n minus 2 square, I'm sorry. And this will give us the total number of cells on the boundaries. And then if you can simplify it, so it will give 4n minus 4. And for every boundary cell reaching to the center, so if it's n equal to 3, how many moves are required to reach the center? It requires only one move. So 3, it requires 1 move. So if we subtract 3 minus 1 divided by 2, why we are doing it? Because for 5, we are actually requiring 2 moves. So it is actually, you can see is, we just actually dividing by 2. For 3, it requires 2, uh, for 1 move. So we are actually just dividing 3 by 2, which is 1. Or 5 divided by 2, which is actually 2. But you can easily write this out as n minus 1 divided by 2. So if you subtract 3 minus 1 divided by 2, this is the same. So for all these cells, we require this number of moves. So now we can easily find out if you multiply them, take out 4 common. So the answer is 2 n minus 1 square whole square. So now you can easily find out that for n equal to this n will be an odd number. So it will be 1, 3, and 5, and so on. And for every 1, 2, 3, 5, this will tell us for if there is a cell or there is a boundary of size 3 every element on that boundary will get in in these number of steps 2 
n minus 1 whole square. But for finding out the total sum, now we have to find out the total sum for every one. 1, 3, 5. It is better to convert it into the form of 1, 2, 3. Because we know the formula for 1, 2, 3. Not this. So if we convert, because these are odd numbers, we can like replace n by 2m minus 1. So then it will become 2 to the power of 2m minus 2 whole square. Take out 2 common, it will become 8m minus 1 whole square. And now actually m goes from 1, 2, 3 and so on. Where 1, one correspond to 1, 2 correspond to 3 actually, 3 correspond to 5. Okay, now okay, cool. So, what we actually do is we just have to find a summation of this. So, if you know the AP formulas, then you can easily just find out in like four of one time all the answer. So, now I have to actually find out the formula for this. If you just expand this, take out 8 out, it's m square. It's m square, then you will add 1 minus 2m. Do a summation of everything, and uh, yeah, that's the whole thing. I can write the code directly, and you will understand more. So, what we are taking is we are taking the input of t, do a while loop of t, and then what we will take is the input of n. Now convert this in in this form because we know this n but we have put m here which is actually so we have to like first map this to this 1 2 3 so how we can map this actually 2m minus 1 is equal to n so for finding m, n plus 1 divided by 2. That's what we are doing. n plus 1 divided by 2. So we are actually finding out m. Which we can put in this formula. Because for finding out this value, we have to put m. And we are given n. Okay. So now we have find out. Now we can find out this summation value. If we sum find summation of m square plus m plus minus 2m. So the summation of this is just m for this is m square plus n like n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and for this is n plus 1 into n plus n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 you can check out on the internet for all these formulas so what will I do is I'll make a variable answer I'll make okay so first value is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 plus the next value is n only and then minus 2 into n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and then we have to whole multiply it with 8 as you can see with 8 so the an answer into is equal to 8 and just out plus we have derived this and so that's why we are just finding out in O of 1 let's face the solution match this is it matching? Some it is. So as you can see, it's also accepted. I hope you understand the logic. If you still have any doubts, you can rewind the video and see what I have done. 
and still after that you have more doubts you can mention it in the comment box i'll rectify it as soon as possible thank you for watching this video if you like this explanation please hit the like button subscribe button and it's very motiv motivating for me uh, i'll see you in the next one bye keep coding